What's up guys, welcome back to Trove, welcome back to Mod Sunday Today we're gonna check out two cool new mods, one of which is a uh, cosmetic one And uh, the other one is just plain uh, useful, especially in uh, Crystal Uberton worlds Anyway, let's start with the beginning So you remember this command that, uh, well, it's slash weapon preview c underscore m underscore boss underscore luna underscore sword So if you just, uh, if you were to type this command you would get this huge sword for your character and yes this actually works on every single class problem with this is wow he actually looks so epic on agenda problem with this is uh, whenever you take a portal and change worlds for example I don't know what what just happened there I think see that, that's, that's the main problem it disappears so let me type that again what happened oh so even if you were to uh, mount your, uh, well mount, <laughs> it would disappear. Luckily I managed to find a mod which basically assures you keep that huge sword. The mod is called... There you go, C440, no that's C455 Vandra Proxys, okay, yeah that's basically the style name I believe for that sword that comes from one of the Rampage bosses, so it's basically the equivalent of Dothium except it's the one found in uh, Rampages. Mod is made by Nick and uh, can be found linked down below. Until then, let me actually show you what this uh, sword looks like. And uh, the main difference, uh, besides the style itself, is the fact that you can actually use it on uh, sword wielding classes. You cannot use this mod on a uh, speared class such as uh, the Lunar Lancer. So let me find a sword wielding class, uh, probably the Neo Ninja. Yep, there you go, and uh, if you want to look up the style, so once you get this mod, you will have to look up for the photon something something, there you go. And look at this. I gotta say I'm uh, kinda impressed at how nicely it matches my costume. Is my costume a rampage thing? You know, it's just digital demon if you're wondering. But it kinda perfectly matches the sword. Anyway, so there you go. You can uh, now hop on your mount and you will still uh, have your sword. We should probably kill some stuff, see what it looks like. Wow, the jumps look so derpy. Oh, spoiler, that's another mod I want to showcase. Anyway, let me, let me find some uh, unfortunate enemies which I can obliterate. What just happened? I think I forgot how to play the Neo Ninja. There you go, this is how the uh, sword looks like in uh, combat. Pretty cool, I mean, the coolest thing is that it's huge, right? <laughs> It's definitely a huge, a very huge sword, probably the biggest in game, it's gotta be the biggest in game, it's, uh, it's as huge as the uh, Dothium one, and uh, it also looks quite epic. The aura doesn't even uh, engulf it fully, it just stays at the bottom. Imagine an aura covering uh, the entirety of this weapon, it'll be just insane. Wonder what it looks like when you just uh, spaz out using the ultimate. Yep, this is like a uh, lawnmower mode. Yeah, so that is pretty much it for uh, this uh, cool little style mod. Once again, the name of it is, uh, if you were to look it up, is uh, C455 and uh, Proxy. Basically the name uh, style of that uh, sword. Links for this are also gonna be found in the description. Now, the second mod I wanna show you guys today is uh, this one. Let me find it. It's called the Master Radar VFX and it's made by, uh, oh, three, uh, three others, Crazy Only, Breezer and uh, Diabolic. Sort of. Oh, that's actually a play on words, Diabolic. Right, but uh, there you go. Uh, it's very useful, especially when farming on the surface of Geode. It makes bus spotting much easier. I often find myself not finding the bosses, especially in those uh, dungeons that, uh, well, are really tight and you cannot see any uh, beams going uh, from the top of the bus. Let me actually show you what this uh, mod does and uh, why do I find it so useful. Let's go to Uberton. And uh, right off the bat you might have noticed it also changed the rejuvenation station uh, VFX, it now has a uh, pretty good looking plus above it. <laughs> and now time for the uh, for the awesome part. Look at what? Something is something's attacking me. Look at how well it signals where the boss is, are you ready? Check this out. Now you can definitely not miss that. Not only is it huge, 
but it's also very very good looking so as you can see it definitely keeps the beam idea which is very useful but it also adds a huge aura look at the radius of that around the bus so you definitely cannot miss it this uh, this way let's actually find a five star dungeon and uh, try and farm a little there See how it looks like, see how it feels. Oh, this is perfect. Found another great example. So you've seen the uh, crazy dark aura hovering that bus. That was basically saying it's a regular bus. It's a uh, single creature bus. Now, check this dungeon out. Anytime now. Any no, there you go, there you go. Uh, see how the aura actually changed? This basically signals it's a curse call type of bus. Now that is very, very useful. Look how many beams come from it. Oh no, that, that, those beams actually come from the uh, bosses uh, below it. Wow, look at the, uh, look at the stars VFX. <laughs> this is so good looking. This is pretty, pretty cool. You can definitely not miss the bosses anymore. I still want to find one of those uh, very annoying dungeons where I uh, usually miss bosses. Let me, uh, let me try to do that. It's a five star one and... Uh, it's like a tunnel thing, sort of. The, I mean, it's got a main room, then it spreads into uh, tunnels, uh, stretched on three layers. Anyway, let me just try and find it. I gotta say, I didn't quite get used to it, so I kind of get scared at times when a huge aura pops out uh, out of nowhere, basically. Gotta get used to the mud. Okay, I didn't find that annoying 5-star. I think I found the easiest 5-star, actually. Which one do you think is the easiest? I believe this is definitely uh, one of the easiest 5-stars. Anyway, let me show you what the bosses look, uh, look like. Soon as I crash the uh, Dark Heart. Look. Lo look at that. That is so useful. That is so, so useful. So, three bosses, one, uh, one below me. No, two below me or something. Yep, definitely two below me and... Uh, the ones on top are so easy to spot too. Yeah, guess I proved my point. Uh, that's why this mod is very, very useful. I highly recommend uh, using it. Uh, there, there's also plenty alternatives, I believe. This is uh, the one that caught my attention because of the VFX. They are nicely worked. Once more, name of this mod is... There you go, name of it is uh, the Master Radar VFX. Uh, links for which can be found in the video description. Yeah guys, so that is gonna be it for uh, this mod Sunday. Hopefully these mods are gonna be useful and fun to you as well. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I am gonna see you on the next one. But first, notice how, uh, how nice the terrain looks here. They look like scales. Shaded scales. Looks like pixel art. That's pretty cool.